Hello everyone, it's Grandma Jackie. I'm back and I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I didn't do a haul yesterday. It was a very long weekend. Um, I feel like I needed to get caught up on a little bit of sleep. Um, so that's what I did. Um, yesterday before I went to work, I slept. And I slept most of the day today, I will be honest. Um, I've got up in spurts and cleaned the house and did some things, but other than that, I just, I am utterly exhausted. I don't know why. I don't know. Yes, I do know why, but anyways, um, my Dollar Tree haul this time is going to consist of a bunch of Easter stuff because I got out my Easter decorations earlier. Well, my husband got them out for me Sunday and I finally got to be able to decorate some and um so then I was looking over here at the stuff that I had hauled and I'm like or that I have sitting here and I'm like um I could use a few of those things <laughs> so let's just bump up a little bit I actually really did I mean I got up super early this morning and did some things and thought about making a run to the Dollar Tree but I just laid back down to be honest I'm like yeah and since I actually slept like if I lay down and I toss and turn then I'll get back up and I'll do something because there's no sense in trying um, I I do have a lot of problems with insomnia so toss and turn in you know I don't eat right I don't sleep right I don't get enough exercise I'll be honest honestly honestly I don't turn my electronics off at night whenever I need to go to sleep like the television's always going um, I'm all the time picking up my phone you know so it's my own fault I have nobody to blame but myself but um, I'm really looking forward to warmer weather maybe I'll wear myself out some more and actually get some sleep I don't know uh, I thought about trying those um, melatonin gummies from the Dollar Tree so if you guys have tried them comment down below and let me know how they work I don't like anything that makes me feel off or sluggish or anything like that I feel sluggish enough on my own so if you guys have tried those um, comment and let me know how they work for you and I might think about trying them or something so I'm going to go ahead and get started because I'm already about three minutes in from yakking so I picked up a sign and this is just a classic Happy Easter and I love the pink roses. See that's, I don't know, I'm weird sometimes. <laughs> I say that all the time. Okay, I'm weird a lot, but um, for Easter I really love the pastel colors, but you can give me browns and greens as well and I love them so I just like to mix it all together I guess I just love color I don't know I have no idea maybe I'm just rambling because I actually got too much sleep I think so anyways I picked up this sign it's got some glitter on it and there is a little bit of fallout but that's okay I usually just I don't hang these signs um, I usually just prop them up like I have the welcome one over there that has the St. Patty's Day thing on it but but this was cute and since I'm starting to decorate a little bit that's the bad part about St. Patty's Day I feel like it gets pushed off to the side because I'm just so anxious to decorate for Easter which is one of my favorite holidays so yeah now I gotta figure out where to put this because I need room okay then I picked up this window decoration and it's a five piece and I'm going to hold it up for you to see. Oh, look how dirty that is. So you can see that on there. It's kind of the foil one, I I think. And you put that on, I don't know, I decorate my microwave. The outside of my microwave, the front. And windows and everything. And then I picked up this cling and it's a 13 piece and it has the pink truck on it. Those are a couple things probably help decorate the kitchen. The 
kitchen, the kitchen. Okay, and as if I needed any more baskets whatsoever, I got more baskets. I picked up three of these because I love them. I love the design, I like the pattern, I like how it says Carrot Patch, Farmer's Market, um, Annual Cottontail Egg Hunt, I love all of it and I love that it's the pastel purple handle and the purple bottom, yes, I love it. Um, for fall, I don't know if I did it for spring last year, but for fall I made out of the little buckets, um, like flower arrangements so I could set them around the house so I thought about doing it with these but I don't know I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them but I had to have them because I was like I love that design and I was really surprised that they were even there and you're gonna see me reaching and putting stuff down sorry then I picked up <clears throat> this is a two-piece look I just cleared my throat again I'm calling myself out on everything lately. <sighs> you know what I ate today, guys? I'll be honest. I did not eat. What time is it? It is 2.30 in the afternoon on a Tuesday. I did not eat anything until I just put a frozen pizza in the oven and ate a few pieces. So that ought to give me energy, huh? <laughs> Okay, moving on. I picked up these cute little treat sacks and they come two pieces in a thing. Look at those things. I love these floppy ears and how that draws strings together. And I got um, three packs because, you know, I do have the five grandchildren, but I wished I would have picked up one more pack because I have the other three children um, in there. So, if I go out and I see another pack, I'm, I'll probably pick it up. If not, I mean, all the kids' packs, I keep saying packs, all the kids' Easter baskets or what have you is all going to be different. All different. They'll have some of the same stuff, but not all. And I love these floppy ears. Love them. Love, love, love. So, there's that. So, pick this up. Not that I need any more containers whatsoever. But I got it because this makes a good basket to make up and give away. This is like the perfect size, I think. And I think they have it like one size smaller too. But I like this size to put stuff in. <clears throat> I did it again. Okay, I'll take a drink. Look, I'm drinking soda. That's bad for me too. I'm trying to motivate myself to do something. Okay. These are adorable. These are canvas bunny bags. I got a pink and a blue. I probably could have got more because there was more there. But I just settled on the pink and the blue. But they're gorgeous. You know, they're, they're sewn. So... You know, a person could make these if they wanted to, but, you know, time constraints. I am working on that quilt in the bedroom. After I set up my sewing machine in there and I've been working on it and I've, I've already made mistakes. It's just like I was just sewing away and I'm like, I didn't even quilt the pieces before I put them together. So now I'm having to go back to quilt. And then I didn't follow my pattern perfectly, so I had to undo a few and re-sew. Do not know what's the matter with me. I just think my mind is on overload. You know how they say there's too many tabs open? Yeah. <clears throat> Did it again. <laughs> I picked this up and it has a purple one that is somewhere in the house. But Lila's seen these last week when she was here. Um, actually, I'm going to go get her in a couple hours, but she wanted to play with them, so I let her play with the pink and the purple. Um, I found the pink to put back in the show, but I don't know where the purple's at. Um, I'm thinking about gluing them together, 
because when she drops them on the floor they open and I don't want her to pinch her little fingers so I thought about just trying to glue them together and then she can just play with them so, she loved it if I find the purple one I'll probably try to glue it together I got some dinosaurs I got I honestly don't know names of dinosaurs my grandson probably would. Here is this one. Here's this one. I think this Triceratops. I do know this one. I used to watch The Land Before Time all the time with my kids. But I don't recognize this one. I don't think it's Spike. Is it? No, I don't think so. Anyways, um, what's in it, it says there's Smarties inside. And here's this one. This is like a T-Rex. Yeah. And they're just like <laughs> rubbery. You take the eggs out, you can replace them or whatever. I decided it'd be a good, good thing to put in an Easter basket. Ooh, going down. I got a... It says decor, but it is a cotton bunny, I guess it's bunny tail. I thought it was cute. It even shows like on here, the little girl with the little costume. And you can get the bunny ears there. Um, I did find those beautiful bunny ears like last year after Easter. I did a huge haul from Hobby Lobby and I got a lot of stuff for this year Easter and I found that container and brought that out and so yes 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 love it love it <laughs> I was like oh I'm so happy I got this so yeah <clears throat> oh my goodness and then I got these because I absolutely love the colors of them the pastel colors and I like how I don't know they kind of look like a woven is that how how you say it woven basket I don't know they are plastic they're no bigger than this but they're I got two teal um, a purple a pink and a yellow and I think this year yellow I don't know for some reason I'm seeing a lot of yellow in things so I don't know if that's gonna be like the color of the year or whatever Teal's still really popular though. I love each of these colors. Again, a color lover. I picked up two of these pink laundry baskets. I know they're not very sturdy or whatever, but I use, and I, I'm not kidding, I use in my, my van and my Jeep whenever I go shopping a laundry basket. And I only have one in there right now to put bags and stuff in and then I carry the laundry, laundry basket in and then whenever I empty it up I take it back out so I thought I could put a couple in there in the back of the van and fill them and it's just so much easier carrying in so I did get a couple of those for that purpose a couple more <laughs> Two to put in the van and two to put in the Jeep. Um, before I get into that, I want to show this. Probably just made a bunch of noise, but I'm sorry. I found, and I've been sitting on this for over a week, but I haven't got to it yet. Um, these. I'm going to set these out right now over here because this is where I kind of, well, maybe over there. Maybe in the front room on, in one spot where I kind of got most of the... Um, St. Patty's Day decorations because I think this goes good for that but it, it's also like a springy color I guess um, these are cute these are very cute they had several of them whenever I went in I got two of each color so I'll show you the pink and the blue they are glass or ceramic so if you drop them they're gonna break 
So here's the pink one and here is the blue one. I was shocked I was able to find those because I must have walked in right as they put them out or something because I'm telling you in this area it is hard to find a gnome. Hard. I thought about trying to make some more because I've made them before. I just, I need to perfect my uh, gnome making skills. I got four bags of these carrots. There's six pieces in each. Because I'm going to make some Easter decor with this. I've put them in wreaths before. I probably will again. But I've also um, put them in just flower arrangements and made a pick out of them all kinds of things this time I don't know I may I'm thinking about making a garland like a carrot and egg garland maybe we'll see oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy okay I got Paw Patrol gummy candy and games I just thought this was something cute I can add to one of the kids' Easter baskets. Okay, a couple of towels just for decor. This is the one that has the eggs, which is bright in color. And then this is the one that says Happy Easter. It's got the little bunny on it. So that's, you know, definitely decor. You wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily use it. I got these to put on my little tear tray in there. And actually, I got my stuff out and my little tear tray is pretty full. So, I'm not real positive. I mean, I might use one or two in there on one of them. But, um, I might have to think of something extra to do with these. I'm sure I will. I love just scrolling through Pinterest, scrolling through YouTube. I'm sure you guys are the same. Getting ideas. Once again, some more flowers. Um, these are, it says bouquet, but it's kind of like an Easter pick, I think, because it's got the little egg on there. I've got the yellow and the blue and the purple with the pink little eggy in there and then I got like almost like the rose gold with the blue blue to green eggy got those for Easter decor got a couple more of these and I got the pink the yellow and then there's purple in there too Some of the other flowers that I just hauled the other day, I have already put in Easter decor. So, I got more of these. I know the other day I had several of them and I was holding them. I'm like, la, 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 la. so, um, actually got two of the pink, two of the blue, and one of the purple. And I think thought that I had hauled more of them but I didn't because this is all I hauled together so these are all going for a DIY so those are hitting the shed Somebody's pulling up. One more of these. So now I have four. Right? Yeah, I have four. I need one more. One there, one there, one there. 
Was, or was this the fifth one? I don't know. I have yet to put these out, so I'll have to go count them. They're in there on the shelf. But I wanted five of them so I can represent each grandchild. And then I picked these up, and this is a set of four bunny ears. This is cute. Um, they're just like a hard plastic, but they would be good to stick in with an Easter basket. Then... You know, pretty much for every holiday, they have these out in different designs. I picked up the yellow chick. And the pink one has eggs on it, and it says, So excited for Easter. I love that. That's very, very cute. And these things kind of seal on there pretty good, so you can put some Easter candy in there or something. Have it setting out. Something. Do something with it. This is a pink sign that says Happy Easter and it's got an Easter Bunny booty on it. Come in. What can you do there? It's got glitter on the wheels, glitter on the, um, what do you call that? Step, side, side step, something. Whatever it is, we need new ones for our truck. <laughs> Because I have a really hard time getting up in our truck. <clears throat> okay. I picked up two packs of these. Four packs. Of these Easter Bunny. Little burlap. Sacks. And it looks like when you pull it together. It kind of looks like bunny ears. But it's got the tie with it and everything. Just a couple more things. I know this video is running long, but I'm going slow. So poke. Um, picked up a couple of gift bag sets, and I thought these were just super cute. This is the one with the chicks, and here's the one with the bunny. That's what the second bag looks like, and this is what the second bag looks like on the chicks. I just thought that was very cute. Not real big bags, but... You can gift stuff in there. And then for the Easter baskets, I'm not sure if I'm going to make up probably a couple of different things for my grandkids. But then to contain some of it in an Easter basket, they have these basket bags and there's two pieces in each one. So you can put it over the top of your basket. And it comes with these silver tie things. Whenever they come with the stuff like this, I don't ever use this. I just use ribbon or something like that to curl it. So, let's see if I got a repeat of this one. No. This was the only one I got in this one. And this was the pink, or not the pink, the little blue eggs and bunny. Kind of more for a boy, I thought. I have stuff that I'm stuff in here. And then, are these the same? Yes. I got four in this purpley one with the eggs on it. And like I said, it comes two in a pack, but this is kind of what it looks like. So I got four of those. And then another boy one. And this one, well... I thought it looked like a boy on the front. That's why I got it. Then I flipped it over and it actually looks more pinky and like a girl. So, um, I mean, I, I got like my grandson and then my son's girlfriend has two boys. So, there's three boys involved and there's two boy bags. So, I might have to give like the youngest one... Um, either one of these, because I think maybe these have a lot of blue in it. Probably, that's probably what I'll do. I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. And once you do, make sure you hit the bell and that'll tell you whenever I upload a video. And I want to show you one more thing. I know it's a long video. I'm glad you stuck around with me to the end because I'm saving the best for last. This is something that I made last year in the shed. And I kind of just made it not necessarily for a centerpiece, but for decor. And I call it bunny foo-foo. I just got one of those galvanized chargers and built this kind of around it. I hope you can see this because this thing is beautiful. I call it bunny foo-foo. See there, she's sitting on a charger. There's her little grass background. She's in the middle of a flower field. She's got the clovers around her. I love this thing. I use it for decor and I was just kind of messing around with flowers and a little bunny. And I was like, what can I do with this? So I decided I was going to make decor. So this is Bunny Foo Foo. She's glad to meet you guys. <laughs> I thought about making a smaller version of Bunny Foo Foo this year, but making it um, with some different colors. Um, just kind of for decor again. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, if you would, please give it a thumbs up. And I really appreciate you clicking on the video and watching it. And please stay safe and take care of yourselves. And I will catch you later.